All right, everybody, welcome to the top five. I am Jarrell, and I got my special guest, Miss Keisha Renee, everybody. <laughs> Let's get it. All right, this week I've got Keisha Renee here to talk about the top five things you need to know if you want to be a background vocalist. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Keisha Renee is a phenomenal singer from Inglewood, California. Whoa, whoa. She sung for the likes of Nicki Minaj and all over the country. You just got back off tour with um, Lettucey, right? I did. Yeah. And who are some of the other people that you've worked with? Um, I've worked with Elton John, uh, See, Adam Elton John. B. <laughs> um, <laughs> Adam Lambert, JoJo, Diddy, Bad Boy. Take um, that, you know, that. yeah, just name a few. She's also the wonderful voice that you hear on ah. the Jesus is Born record. Yes, on Love he is Mo. bored. <laughs> <laughs> She's phenomenal. She also has her own agency for background vocalists. What's the name of it? It is Ideal Music Industry Agency. That's a mouthful, ain't it? <laughs> ideal but Music we are Industry Agency. shaping the ideal background singer. Amazing. So why'd you start the, the agency? Um, I just saw a need. Um, when you go on tour, you meet dancers, you uh, have friends when you move to LA that are actors and everybody's covered by this agency. You know, dancers have agencies, actors have agencies that, you know, kind of speak for them, you know, fight for them, get them the rates that they need. and. Um, there's no covering for the background artists. We're kind of like our own entity. And I, through my career, have saw how, you know, we kind of get taken advantage of if you're not really knowledgeable of what rates are, you know, what per diem should look like, accommodations should look like. You could just be out there thinking this is what it is. And, you know, you now have someone to say, no, <laughs> this is not it. Do <laughs> better, down. America. Yeah, hold it down. That's what's up. Yeah. So because you're such an expert vocalist, Thank you. Um, you have so much experience in the industry, uh, we want you to give some information to the people so that those who are looking to grow in the industry, yeah. looking to get started in the industry as background vocalists, and even just artists, you know, some the top five things that they need to know. Okay. All right, so let's get started. Let's get into it. All right. <laughs> Number five. You guys ready? When submitting a video for like an audition or even auditioning in person, mm -hmm. you have to look the part. Mm. Like, you can't look frumpy. I <laughs> always, like, no, for real. If you're submitting an audition video, your background should look clean. Um, I shouldn't see your laundry. Mm -hmm. Even if it is clean, we don't know that. <laughs> you know, it should just be like a clean background to represent that you kind of got your, you know, your life together. We don't want to mm. see that it's disaster in the background because that's what you're going to bring to the camp. If I look and see that it looks like it's chaos, I'm going to think, hey, you're a chaotic person, so why would mm. I hire you? So, you know, put your best foot forward and always give them nothing to kind of judge. And when you are auditioning, always wear black because that's kind of standard BGV black. Yeah. But add your, you know, your style to it, your artistry, make it funky, make it spunky, but you know, something nice, clean black and yeah. Number four, be on time. Mm. Time is money, everybody. Um, and not only that, uh, you're there to be a servant. So mm. you need to show that you are capable and you're able to, uh, Handle the job. So if they beat you there, then that means, hey, we don't need you. So mm. be on time. You got to plan it out. I mean, yeah. and living in LA, traffic is stupid. So that's plan oh. number one. Um, yeah. But yeah, you just have to plan it out and expect the unexpected. So that has to be planned in there too. Yeah. So like, say if you have an audition that starts at noon mm -hmm. and you live an hour away, I wouldn't just leave with that hour. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. I would leave maybe two hours. Maybe I might want to go get me something to drink. I might want to be there at 1130 for mm -hmm. parking. You know, maybe it's a sign in like 12 o'clock isn't the start time. That's when you need to be where you need to be. Number three. Listen, be a team player. It mm -hmm. is really, really easy. Uh, to kind of be a butt in background because for some <laughs> reason, you know, background singers, not all of them, but some people aspire to be artists. So mm -hmm. they're looking for that opportunity to like shine, but your job mm. is to be a supporting person in the back. Yeah. As talented as I am, I do my part in the back and it's as plain as what I hear on the track. Yeah. I have been blessed to get opportunities to step out and that's when I give them my best shot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But until then, I am doing what I'm paid to do, which is a background vocalist. And some people can get, you know, a little ahead of themselves yeah. in that. And I've seen, um, you know, in some of my experience, people take like, team captain lead. There is mm. no captain. I'm BGB1, you're BGB2, and if there's a third, you're BGB3. We all get paid the same in some situations. And um, I just think you should like learn your part the best you can. And if you feel like someone may 
be hitting the wrong note or singing it wrong. Don't be that person. Just be like, yeah. hey, girl, I think it's da 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 da. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> the audience sees the unit. They yeah. don't see BGV1 and, oh, she got her part down. Yeah. They, they just know they hear the unit. So be yeah. a team player. Because at the end of the day, we're all representing each other. You know? I want to do my da 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 da, right? Right. Oh. <laughs> and if it's wrong, I'm going to let you know in love. Number two. <laughs> Learn the music, folks. Mm. <laughs> No one, now remember I said be a team player on three, but no one hates like getting paid the same but then having to do double the work. Mm. Learn your part the best you can so that when the unit comes together, it's just tweaking, not like giving you your whole shebang. Because if I'm making 750, just throwing that out, mm -hmm. and you make it 750 and I have to teach you, I need half that, you yeah, know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Run me half of that. And number one, come as a student. Mm. Not a teacher. You might be like the most experienced person. I went to Berkeley <laughs> Music of School of Art, whatever that Music is. Music of School. Listen, <laughs> but hey, you're still coming in under someone. So always come in as a student, yeah. never a teacher. Wait for that moment for someone to ask you for that advice or that mm. moment to step out so that you can show that you can offer more than just BGV. But don't ever come in like, I'm above this. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you came in <laughs> as this background vocalist, which is just support. Yeah. That's all. That's all we are. Um, I think the industry and certain people, maybe even myself, because of the the blessings that God has given me with like a Nicki Minaj to be like her singer because mm -hmm. she's a rapper. Right. Um, so of course I get like a step out moment with her, but everything is not like that. But some artists don't have a problem sharing their spotlight. Yeah. When I was with JoJo, I ended up um, opening 10 of her shows on this tour. Oh wow! So it's like show that you're a great servant and they'll be more than happy to give you more, you know what wow. I'm saying? But yeah. how can you lead without serving? And I got all of the knowledge of the background and what it takes to tour because mm. I was serving and soaking up that knowledge. And, you know, Mike can sing better than the artists that I'm singing for, but yeah. they're there for a reason and I'm supporting for a reason. So yeah. what is it that I'm here to learn? So, you know. That is good. That is really good. Be that's, a student. That's bigger than just music though. I think that's life, important yeah. for, yeah, that's yeah. a life thing. You know what I mean? Be a student, yeah. be ready to learn. I'm learning now. I'm learning ah, now. You know look at that. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I appreciate mm. somebody like you of your caliber. Thank you. Uh, at the level that you have worked and continue to work on, uh, being open enough to come and sit with me and talk to us and give yes. us some pointers. You know what I mean? Listen, I and really I got some wine, it. a candle, a planner, <laughs> look, some listen, stuff. I got some flowers. On my I got show, something out of it. You know, I want to give you a little something, a little offer. You know what I mean? And Thank listen, you. it was beautiful. I loved it. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Thank you. you. Keisha Thank Renee, you. tell them where they can find you. Listen, you can find me on all social media, and it's really easy. It's Keisha Renee on Facebook, Keisha Renee on Instagram, Instagram, <laughs> Instagram. That's the Instagram uh, for the grandma. Right. <laughs> Listen, my granny just asked me to give her one. No. Um, and Twitter, Keisha Renee. So it's K E I S H A R E N E E. <laughs> Keisha Renee. Thank you so much, Keisha Renee. Thank you for Woo! having me. Top five, baby. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thank you.